I've got a Mark III Ford Focus and a one litre EcoBoost. And I'm gonna um, service it and fix the brakes. So, so um, first thing is I've released the wheel nuts just um, before I jack it up. And I'm gonna jack it up. Jack point's easy to see the little um, V there. Shows you where it isn't just on the metal bit. And then I'm gonna put axle stands um, underneath just so it's all nice and safe. Right, so jacked up. Let's gonna see where to put this axle stand under there, I guess. Jack it up a bit more. Handed. Whoa, okay, there we go. Well, at least that's nice and safe now. We'll do the other side and take the plastic cover off the bottom and start draining the oil. Right, so the next job is to take off the um, underpan, and there's a number of uh, T30. Uh, screws there's one two three on the front then i think there's one under there one under the same on the other side and then there's two or three along the back there so you can get at the oil filter which is up the in between the, the back of the engine and the firewall and then the um and the sump plugs just under there right so on the axle stands Got the jack on that side as well and the wheel under that side just in case. Uh, okay, so we need to remove this bottom uh, panel. So uh, 230 Torx. Um, just started removing the um, 230s holding these on and uh, it's a good idea to do the back first just so it doesn't fall on your head if you do the front first. Um, yeah. Uh, so there were three at the back. Uh, and then there's one here under the mud flap and one on the other side and then um, the three on the front but when you undo the three on the front this plastic little spoiler comes down and there's another one, two, uh, there's another one under there as well so just look out for those and then it just falls down so watch out. Okay, so I've got the cover off and you can see uh, the sump here and the sump plug is just there and uh, it is a 13mm 13 mil, 13 mil socket. So I've got my um, tray to catch the oil and um, I always seem to get covered in oil. You should really wear gloves for doing all this stuff because uh, it's not good for you uh, getting this stuff on your skin. But anyway, so 13mm, undo that. And the oil filter is up the back there as well, which is a bit of a pain to get to, but hey. Okay, so there we go. Um, right, so yeah, 13mm socket on there and... Ratchet still working. Great. Like I say, you should be wearing gloves. Let's make sure this is going to catch that oil. Drain off for a while. While the oil's draining, um, I'll do the spark plugs. I actually remembered to buy just three this time. Can't get it, uh, can't um, get rid of the habit of buying four spark plugs. Uh, so uh, it's the Eco 
uh, Boost one liter has got a really small uh, spark plug. Um, so it's 14 mil, but if you buy a 14 mil spark plug spanner, they, it doesn't fit. I'm not too sure how the spark plug sockets work size wise, but uh, anyway. So uh, this this one in particular uh, does does fit. So I just check them now before I buy them because I got one off of um, Amazon and it was the wrong size, even though it's 14. Um, so uh, and some of them don't have the um, yeah the, the 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 spark plug will go up inside it, so you'll be. Uh, you know undoing it but it'll actually be spinning around where you can see this has got a ridge that stops the uh, socket going too far over the spark plug and um, sliding past the uh, the nut part of it so anyway so that was a bit of a pain getting the right one but there you go that's the one I've got um, yeah right to get to the let's do the spark plug so um, got my spark plug socket might need an extension on it because they're quite deep into the engine um to get this cover off to get to the spark plugs you have to take the oil filler cap off and then you just lift this up it's just got a couple of points along there that hold it in and then you've got three coils and uh, I just do them one at a time because um, just so I don't get them muddled up. So there's two uh, eight mils. So you just undo those, pull the coil off, and then um, get at the, undo the spark plug, lift it out, swap it over, then put these two back on and then go on to the next one. That's just the way I do it anyway. I uh, just started unscrewing that, just remembered. Um, it's a good idea to put the uh, engine filler cap back on. Just don't want anything nasty falling in there or any of your bolts falling in there. That would be bad. I guess you could undo the clip here, but um, I just lift them off. Bit of a wiggle. You can see how deep the spark plug is into the engine. So I'm going to need an extension. One extension. So these are a bit of an angle, as you can see. So obviously be really careful when you're putting it back in that uh, you don't cross the threads. Uh, last time I did a video like this, someone said um, put it in by hand first, but obviously that's a long way down in the engine. So uh, yeah, I guess you could do it with the extension, but just be careful if you don't cross thread it. Quite a long thread on them. Okay, it's always worth having a quick check of the health of the spark plug you're taking out. Um, it should be that kind of fawny brown colour. So that looks pretty healthy. Uh, I guess thing to watch out for is uh, oily, um, or if they're, I've had an electrode broken off one of the older focuses. Um, but hey, yeah, it's worth knowing anyway. So nice form color like that and dry, it's uh, perfect. So uh, when you put it back in, uh, just like I say, be really careful. Um, that you don't cross thread it. So it's at an angle. Just run it backwards a few times and then forwards. Just make sure it's going in smoothly. No resistance. If it is, just back it out a bit and put it back uh, and then try again. 
it's going in nicely. And don't over tighten them as well. Just give them a little bit of um, twist. There we go. Put this back on top. See that you have to give it a bit of a shove because just to get it over there, and you can see the bolts holes lining up. Anyway, so I'm just going to tighten those up again, not too tight, there's no need for them to be over tight, um, and then repeat the process across these two and then that, that's that job done. Now it's time for my least favourite part of the job which is getting the uh, oil filter off. So the oil filter is actually in the on the back of the engine block just in the gap between there and the bulkhead. I've got one of these sometimes you know they should be hand tight but you know if they've been on there for a while getting hot and cold and whatever sometimes they take a bit of getting off so these things are really useful. Okay, so it's oil filter time. Uh, I'm just going to put the sump plug back in. It's been draining for a while and it's stopped dripping. One more drip. Right, so I've got the sump plug back in. I haven't tightened it, tightened it up yet. So the oil filter is up here uh, so I'm going to loosen it here and then see if I can take it off uh, from that gap up there because uh, otherwise the oil just comes down your arm and it's not great so it could be just air tight <sighs> or not So you kind of fold it back on itself and then uh, yeah, I can have it loose now. Okay, right, so the tray is underneath it and I'm gonna see if I can get at it from on top. Right, here we go. You're gonna be able to see. Um, so I'm feeling for that tube. Okay, I've got it. I don't think you're going to be able to see there. Yeah, I think it's loose. Hopefully that's going in the tray. Okay, let's see what's going on. Oh, that's lucky. Okay, so the spark plugs are all done. So they're all tightened back up. All good to go. So the um, the cover just um, pops onto these, so they just push a bit. Oh yeah, you have to take the um, well, the cap off. Right, so 
So um, I'm just going to put the new oil filter, new oil filter on. That's not good. Why is that sticking out? Okay, that's good. Back in. Right. So I'm um, just going to put some oil around that. Probably best use the new oil, but uh, I'm just going to. It just helps it seal nicely. And you can pre-fill these, but because this is side-mounted, it's not an option. So, um, just going to tighten up the sump plug. Um, you don't want to over-tighten it. Just give it a a bit of a squeeze so the rubber seal is tight. That's it. Just kind of have to feel for the thread sticking out that goes in the center of the oil cap and these can just be hand tightened hopefully you can see that So the oil filter, uh, I just chose Bosch. I don't know why, I'm not really sure what the good brands are. So I've heard of Bosch and they seem like a good brand. So that's the oil filter I use. And this is the air filter, again Bosch. Right, right so the air filter, um, seven mil, one, two, one down there, three, and one there, four. I have to point an extension bar. So once you've got the four bolts off, um, you have to give it a bit of a, a bit of a pry. There we go. Oh. Doing its job. Dirty air filter. I've been on a long road trip this summer. And then these ridges on here, you need to get in the in here. So uh, they're a bit of a fiddle, but you get there in the end. So, so when you're putting the filter in. You want to get it so, so it's up against here, so it's got enough room to get past the joint there. Just move a little in, but then you need to get uh, these little bits here. You need to get this on the, the filter on the inside of that. see that just to push it forward so that filters on the inside of those two little hooks yeah, so you just have to sort of kind of push it that way um, and I can feel those two little hooks are on the inside so the filters fitting inside the little groove in the housing so that wasn't too bad actually And then the same thing on here, you see the little, little groove there that the, this plastic edge has to fit up inside. So.
So I've got it in most of the way around, but you've got to, so you can see down there, it's quite smooth and inside. And then as you follow it around, uh, this side isn't in properly. So I'm gonna take it off again and get that inside. Uh, and then basically the whole thing seals all the way around. Um, so you can see the little ridge there has to go up inside the ridge there. So it's a bit fiddly, you have to kind of just keep seeing which bits not in properly and then wiggling it in. So I had to um, just put my finger in on the plastic edge there and then the thumb here and just pull it away. Uh, and it, it kind of snapped in down there. You could, it wasn't in properly all the way around, but it is now. So I think the whole thing should snap in. So you can see these ridges all the way around have to seal into the edge of the casing here all the way around. So that's why it's a bit fiddly. You need to make sure this is in properly all the way around at the back. But once you do that, hopefully, yeah, it's fitting much better together now. You can see the gap all the way around is closed up now, especially down there, which is great. So I just screw it all back in and then that's that done. So next job is to fill it up with oil. Right, so the oil is um, 50W20. Uh, I've got shell uh, oil, but whatever your preference is. Um, so the engine takes 4.4 4 litres if it's empty to... to to full um, obviously there'll be some left in there so don't go crazy and stick four and a half liters straight in it um, I guess put four liters in and maybe a bit less and then uh, use the dipstick um, I've got the car up on ramp so obviously once I've got some oil in it I'll uh, take it off the ramp so it's level and then take um, a dipstick and see how much oil's left in it uh, and that's it pretty much much done. Water level's good. Uh, sometimes these plastic bottles crack underneath so if you're getting a slow leak um, and, and you can see water under here you know that may be one reason. I can see this has got a little bit of water there which is a bit concerning hopefully it's not leaking out of there but I've been on a, a huge road trip recently and it's not losing water so I think it's okay. Um, best to check the, um, the brake and clutch reservoir just to make sure um, that's not getting low. Which mine is. So I'm going to fill that up now. Um, so it's dot four. I need to put in there. This oil's quite corrosive, so um, don't worry. Right. So if you spill any, make sure you um, uh, wipe it down. Actually, I'm not going to put too much in because I'm going to do the brakes next, and so that will bring the levels back up. Okay, <coughs> so I'll get a funnel and we'll put some oil in it. Um, but just watch out because some of the um, the big cans of oil you get are only four litres. So uh, just make sure you get the five litre one just in case. I mean, that's what I do anyway. So um, just bear in mind that this is up on a ramp, so I won't dip stick it here. I'll put it on the level. But... Um, these things have measures on the side, so it's one, two, three, four. I guess that's five. I think it's up there. Yeah, it's up there at the moment. So I'm just going to put, put it down to here. Four. 
Yeah. I mean, you don't want to overfill it either, so I think I will um, get it on the level so I can. So I think that's like two and a half litres and a little bit more. Then I'll get it off the ramps and use the dipstick. charged it's 230 let's get going so this is uh, just a little bit looks a bit weird but uh, so this cover itself has three holes so you can see uh, it goes up against that one that one and there's one here it goes up against that so we screw those in first and then this um, supporting part goes into the other ones you can see so screw these ones in first so i put those three in first just half screwed them in so they're held up then i'll put the back ones in there's three that go at the back half do those in then do the ones on the side uh do those all up tight and then i'll put those ones on and do those up i just dipsticked it and it's um it's been sitting level for a while dipsticked it and it's just um on the minimum so uh uh, I will I've just put some more in and um, uh, I'll dipstick again just to make sure it's above the minimum uh, then run it for a little bit and then let it stand again so it fills up the oil filter and the oil gets around dipstick it again just to make sure it's okay uh, I probably need another top up and then uh, we're good to go